Come on, bro. What I are you talking about? I don't watch the credits. How could you embarrass me like this? I'm outside. Come on, shake some. Come on, shake some. Hey, stop me from doing shit. We all got bad ass kids. Okay, <laughs> man, listen. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Imagine you raise your son in a multi-million dollar house, provide a rich lifestyle, and that same child gets older and tells the world that you never did nothing for them, and on top of that, tries to fight you in public. Well, that's exactly what rapper T.I. and Tiny unfortunately experienced at the Atlanta Falcon game that T.I. was scheduled to perform at. But I did some research about T.I.'s son's trouble history and discovered some secret animosity behind what started all this mess in the first place. This all kicked off at an NFL stadium on Sunday, November 26th, when T.I. and Tiny had had some friends and family at the VIP section at the Atlanta Falcons game. And when they started to joke with their son King, that's when all hell broke loose. Have you ever woke up with a roach on your face? Here. No, that's not the ghost. All right, then. Your ear. Man, go. Oh, in your ear. I don't know what you're talking oh, about. I got in the neighborhood with me that broke up with a roach in your ear. Y'all want to go to the y'all want to go to the bando and man my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the bando? Listen. Do y'all want to go to the bando? To make him look better, he said. He know not true. Silver Spoon, I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. Hey, hey, you did have a silver spoon. Look, used to have to come rested. to my grandma house because I'm getting in the you fight. You cried like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Every day. You used to hold your breath. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. Now pause it right there. Because if you didn't know, King has been trying to disassociate himself from his father's success and rich lifestyle recently. And T.I.'s son, King, has been known in the past to get into a lot of fights trying to prove that he's some tough guy. And he even once allegedly threatened to pistol whip a Waffle House employee. You still talking inside, though. Bro, come on, bro. I'm a you, you still talking inside, though. Yeah, they, they Why you inside? They stop me. You can't stop me from doing shit. I'm doing shit. Let me get my food. Thank you. I'm just talking like they like that. They ain't like that. Before I get back here and pistol with them, wait till I get back and see them out here late night. Wait till I slap a girl. All right. Yeah. Yeah, wait. Wait till I come back in the market late night and then it's just you and I slap you up. Then there was a time when he got into an argument with some random guys in Atlanta parking lot where King allegedly almost pulled out a weapon out of a backpack and threatened to shoot up the whole parking lot. What you want to do? What you want to take this? You from here? Yeah, I'm from here. Yeah, I'm from here. All right, so. I'm going to be on y'all. Let's go. What's up with you, bro? What's up with you, bro? Let's go. Put your head around me, talking out your ass like you want to do something. What's up, bro? Oh, no. Lord. What's up, bro? Nothing. What? Get the fuck Nothing. Wow. Relax. Or what? Nothing. 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 Or what? Even T.I. has spoke out and said that his family has been trying to tell King to chill out with all his gangster stuff, but Tip says his son won't listen. I know my son. Think I ain't spoke to my son. Think I ain't told my son, his mama, and his grandmamas. His ass going to prison. If he got damn keep that shit up, his ass going to prison. Ain't no way around it. Ain't nothing I'm gonna be able to do about it. Can't nobody stop it but him. You know what I mean? I've already had the conversation. I've already made my peace with it. I trust in God to deal with it the way that he see fit. You know what I mean? It ain't really shit else I... You know, he done got all the whippings. He done got the punny. He done did it. He done, you know, did everything as a child you could do to him. So now, he gonna have to, he gonna have to go through it. He gonna have to go through it and get through it. But when all his troubles wasn't enough to prove that he was a gangster, T.I. son King did an interview last month where he allegedly denied that Tiny and T.I. even raised him in the first place, claiming that he's not a rich kid. And even though we all saw him grow up in a wealthy, gated community, King alleges that he was actually secretly raised at his grandma's house in the middle of the hood. Yeah, man, there's a lot about that TV show, man, that got people confused because um, I live with my grandma. You know, we'll go to the house on like a weekend. They'll say, hey, we shooting today. We need y'all at the house. They'll come get me from my grandma's house. And right after we done, when the cameras go off, I'm right back to my grandma's house. Mm. So fast forward to yesterday's Falcons game, when T.I. and Tiny was joking with him, it seems that Tiny exposed that the only reason why they would take their son to their grandma's house was because as Tiny alleges, King kept crying to go over there. And it's not the alleged story that he's been telling about, quote, being left in the hood by his parents. And in my opinion, I think that when his mother, Tiny, exposed that he was actually a spoiled rich kid, that's what probably made King get embarrassed, especially on Instagram Live, which caused him to explode 
and lash out on his own parents. That's why I want to be over there. They don't understand that. Yo, I'm going to tell you the reason why he want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because... He can suck and pacify over there. He was 12 years old. He was suck and pacify until he was 12 years old. He didn't do that in the house. He cried like a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They trying to say I was over there trying to suck a pasty, but they ain't gonna tell you everything like that. They trying to hide it. He capping. He capping. He know I stand on business. He know that. Can't no nigga ever pull my car ever in life. But could it be that the real reason behind this kid's crazy antics is because King has really been secretly wanting to make a name for himself in the rap game and become famous outside of his famous family? Well, we got the answer because the internet detectives done dug up a clip of King saying this a few years ago. That's part of the journey. You can't do it for him. His mama can't do it for him. His mama can't do it for him. Neither can I. I'm fighting for what I want. I'm well, fighting for what I want. Well, keep fighting, young man. Keep fighting. <laughs> Ain't gonna do nothing but make a man out you. Don't cry. Let the man walk off, have some time to himself, sit down, soak it up, and come up with what he need to do. But man. That boy King must have forgot who his daddy was. He must ain't know that his father, T.I., is the real gangster here and he been standing on business before that boy was even born. Because when King went too far with his mother, that's when T.I. had to jump in and allegedly put that boy in a chokehold like most fathers would. I know, I, I know, I know you, 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 What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all doing that to me? Y'all know me. You know I stand on business. You know I stand on business. Why you even letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting somebody play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me like that? Why you letting him play with me? Joking. No, ain't no joking. Ain't no joking. What do you mean? You are embarrassing yourself and your family. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Hey, what is she talking about? Well, you can't do nothing with me. Ain't you can do with me. King is out here embarrassing himself and embarrassing his family. What he did at the Atlanta Falcons game, trying to call out his own parents, ended up turning that boy into a meme. There's all types of memes and funny jokes on the internet of this boy making a fool of himself, trying to be something that he's not. Look, man, you got to be real out here and you got to be real with yourself. And it seems like to me, like this young man is not being real with himself. You understand? His mother is a millionaire. His father is a millionaire. He comes from a celebrity household, yet he trying to convince himself that he isn't a privilege kid listen to me the boy is the definition of living a good life his father sacrificed so that he wouldn't be raised in the hood and what do you have here a kid raised in a mansion trying to run to the projects and ladies and gentlemen and this is what we're seeing a lot with this new generation with this social media generation where people could just pretend to be something on the internet and it's affecting this generation this is exactly like i said on my last video when i was saying that these young people have no respect for their elders and have no respect for their parents because the way that king was talking to his parents you'd have thought that they were some strangers on the street that boy had a nerve to tell his own father and mother that he's standing on business and it's his father you don't use that type of language with your parents but this generation this spoiled entitled selfish generation just think that they could walk around disrespecting their elders without no consequences well look here ti did exactly what every father in that situation would have did and that strangled that boy on up look i am not a proponent for violence and i do not support any type of violence however i am from the generation of a good old-fashioned butt whooping huh let the church say amen let the church say amen see a lot of times like i said in my last video the bible says if you spare the rod you spoil the child and a spoiled child behaves like that if king wants to prove to himself that he's tough if king wants to prove to himself that he got it out the mud and he's standing on business then he need to actually go out on these streets leave his mama and daddy's money to the side Go out there and struggle like the rest of the kids that's out there. Get a job, get a career, and really stand on business. 
instead of sitting up there at the daggone Atlanta Falcons VIP section with your millionaire daddy talking about you standing on business. That ain't business. You standing on your father's business, young man, because it's that business that got you here. And look, man, hey, sometimes we got to hit our kids with a little bit of tough love. You know what I mean? Because they out here living a fantasy, trying to run back to the thing that you taught them to come out of, man. But look, man, I love T.I., his family, Tyna, and I'm going to be real with you. Even though I'm, I'm being critical of King, I love the young man. I want to see him grow to be great, and T.I. named him King for a reason. The boy has a great destiny, but he got to understand he got to walk and carve out his own destiny and stop trying to be his daddy. Be your own man, young King. Because a young king don't complain about somebody else's throne. A young king put in that work and carves up his own, his own throne. And so this is what young king needs to do. Much love to T.I., much love to Tiny. I'm not here to cast any blame. You can give your children the wisdom all you want, but when they become grown like king is, when they graduate from high school, become 18, 19, 21 years old, hey, they grown. And king needs to do what a grown man do, get his own throne. Because you grown, young man. Straight up.